Endotoxin is an integral part of a cell membrane of gram-negative bacteria, such as Pseudomonas aeruginosa and E. coli. It consists of a polysaccharide tail and lipid, hydrophobic lipid A base, which anchors to the cell membrane. Endotoxin is mainly released due to a damage in the bacterial cell membrane and also bacterial death. In a smaller amount, it's also released during bacterial growth as well. And regarding its effect on the wound, endotoxin is a well-known uh, toxic substance both, in, both systematically and topically. And it is also well regarded as a main cause of inflammation. And recently, it has been reported to delay wound healing as well. In our in vitro experiment, we incubated a different amount of endotoxin in close contact with sorbuct compress for different durations. And then we quantify the amount of endotoxin left in the solution. And in close contact with a renowned expert in endotoxin, we are using a limulus amobocyte lysate based assay to quantify the endotoxin. And in this test, we are also we are testing both purified endotoxin and endotoxin that is released from clinical strain as well. Yes, sorbuct binds endotoxin. And um, in our findings, sorbuct binds a wide range of endotoxin from approximately 100 endotoxin units to more than 10,000 endotoxin units per milliliter. To give you a context, 250 uh, endotoxin units can give a fever to adult human being. And we can consistently show that sorbuct reduces about 93 to 99% of endotoxin after 24 hours of close incubation. And we can also show that sorbuct binds both purified endotoxin and endotoxin from clinical, released from clinical strains equally well. So our result shows a significant of free endotoxin concentration reduction up to 40% just after five minutes after incubation with sorbuct. So the ability to reduce endotoxin in the wound is important for patients' experience in terms of inflammation and pain and possibly facilitate better wound healing. And this new exciting endotoxin data may be a part explaining why wound treated with sorbuct shows a good clinical result. Most antimicrobial wound dressings intended to treat infection by killing microorganisms in which releases more endotoxin. Sorbuct, on the other hand, binds microorganisms and reduces bioburden through hydrophobic interaction. Because sorbuct does not kill bacteria, it will not release more endotoxin through cell damage. And now we proudly present the first study that Sorbuck is able to reduce endotoxin both significantly and rapidly in vitro. This ability to remove both endotoxin and cells may lead to less inflammation in the wound and also better wound healing process. We are really excited to hear the opinions of wound experts around the world on this finding and also on the importance of minimizing the amount of endotoxin in the wound.